Hello and welcome to my DVD on the Fianchetto, King's Engine and Grunfeld from the white perspective. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick Pertz. I'm a chess grandmaster from England. I'm currently the national head coach of the English Chess Federation and uh, I've been playing actively for many years. Uh, my greatest achievement was when I won the World Under-18 Championship back in 1998. But I've played for England at many levels, um, sometimes in Olympiads or European Team Championships. Um, at the time of actually recording this DVD, I haven't actually lost a white game for over two years. And when you consider all the FIDE rated games and the uh, games rated by the English Chess Federation, that's a lot of games against some very good players. I'm sure now I've said that I'll probably you know, lose lots of games in a row. Um, but for the time being, I've been in quite a long unbeaten run. And part of the reason why I've had such a long unbeaten run is because I play quite a solid repertoire. Um, where I try and get a small advantage and uh, pressure my opponent into losing and always sort of try and keep in reserve the fact that uh, White's got, um, you know, uh, maybe a lot, of, a lot of margin for safety. White has to make quite a lot of mistakes before he lose a game. Whereas for Black, it's not so easy. You know, Black maybe makes one mistake and things can go wrong. Now, um, the Fianchetto uh, variation versus the King's Indian and Grunfeld is one of those lines where it's quite solid and it's very, very frustrating for Black players to play against. Um, so let me just show you some of the moves. So d4, knight f6, uh, knight f3, for example. This is actually my uh, preferred move order usually, uh, g6, c4. It's worth noting that you can actually play many different move orders to get into lines of the Fianchetto, Kings, Indian or Grunfeld. You can start with a, an English, one c4, you can start with one knight f3, you can even start with one g3, and uh, lots of different ways of, of playing these lines. Um, so first of all, let's just quickly have a look at the, the Kings, Indian lines, so g3. Uh, d6, bishop g2, castles and castles. This is, I guess, the main starting position for the absolute main lines of the uh, uh, Fincetto, King's Engine and uh, Grunfeld. Um, we're looking at moves like knight to c6 here, and after knight c6, I'm going to recommend knight c3. And now black can play e5 here, after which we play d takes e5, and we hope for a slight advantage in all those lines. Um, we've also analysed in some detail moves like bishop to f5 here, um, also bishop to g4, and of course the, the main lines which start with uh, pawn to a6. And I tried to give a system uh, which you can play against a6 or rook b8, which is the sort of other move order which black can play. They can play a6 and rook b8 really in either move order. Um, so there are those lines against knight c6. I've also had a look into lines uh, where black plays well, okay, c5 straight away. I'm looking at, again at the symmetrical variations of d takes c5 and seeing how white can pose black some problems in those variations. Um, having a look at um, lines where black plays uh, bishop f5 straight away. Um, also c6 with the idea of playing bishop f5. I've looked at these lines. Some ideas for white in this variation. Um, also had to look at some lines after knight d7, <coughs> knight c3, and then e5, e4. And again, lines, uh, a lot of analysis on moves like e takes d4, um, also moves like c6 in this position have been uh, pretty heavily covered. And um, I guess c6, I'm recommending move h3. And I'm trying to build up uh, general plans of how white should play in these, these positions, where to put the pieces, and hopefully if you can remember roughly where to put the piece and how to develop. If your opponent throws something new at you or if you forget your analysis then uh, you should be able to come up with a, a pretty decent move. Um, the beauty of the Fianchetto King's Indian is unlike a lot of other King's Indian lines you don't get attacked, you're very unlikely to, to get checkmated in the opening. Of course it could happen if you if you blunder but it's more of a positional battle and there's just a lot more room for both players to uh, make mistakes. Uh, in general White enjoys a slight space advantage and is able to sort of get greater control of the centre and that often means that white gets an advantage. Black maybe gets one or two tricks but if you can kind of work your way through those tricks um, then uh, usually you come out with a better position. Um, I've also spent quite a bit of time looking at uh, ideas such as c5 and uh, you know moves such as uh, queen a5 check in this position. Um, also looking at ideas uh, for example in the main lines. Black play moves like d5 uh, black player moves like c takes d4, knight c6. All these, all these lines have been covered in quite, quite a lot of detail. So hopefully, it gives you a pretty much complete repertoire from the white point of view. Um, I've looked at um, uh, one other line which I actually forgot to mention. After knight c3, um, e5, e4. I've looked at also moves like a6 here, 
and the Gallagher variation, ideas of black playing b5, also ideas of black playing e takes d4, knight takes d4, uh, for example, let's just put some moves on the board. Um, so we've got h3, um, ideas of black playing moves like take and uh, rook e8, uh, rook b8, and moves like knight e5, and c5, these kind of ideas where black's playing in b5, uh, hard draw arrows as you can see, black play b5 and uh, b4, this kind of, or b5, and um, white responds, say knight c2, b5, with something like f4. So I've looked into these lines a lot as well. So I think it's a pretty much a, a full repertoire which uh, you can play against the, the Fianchetto King's engine. And um, I've also looked at um, the Grunfeld lines as well, uh, which is more solid. I've tried to give some ways for, for White to play against the, the solid line of the Fianchetto King's engine, uh, of the Fianchetto Grunfeld, uh, where Black plays c6 and d5. It's almost like a kind of Slav type setup, a very solid um, system for Black. And um, I tried to give some ideas of how white can push from advantage with the um, move C takes D5. Again, a lot of uh, positions, we're getting symmetrical positions, but we've got the extra tempo. So we're looking at ways to use that extra tempo to put pressure on the black position. Um, I've also had a look at, um, instead of uh, C6 of black playing D5 right away, and um, some of the different move order tricks that you need to be aware of here after takes knight takes bishop g2 whether or not black should play knight b6 straight away or how to react if he doesn't if there's any way you can take advantage of black playing maybe slightly less precise move order uh, looked at lines like c6 and c5 um, you know con concentrated quite a bit on uh, ideas if black for example reached a position where he castles and um, we get this position yeah looked at some of the, some of the lines in, in from this position from white perspective um, I've also had a look at lines where black has uh, played, well, in my opinion, a slightly more accurate move order of playing knight b6 right away. And uh, knight c3, knight c6, and then now you can't really play d5 because bishop takes c3 is check, which is uh, the key point as to why black plays this move order and instead of casting earlier. So I've gone into some detail about the accuracy of move order from, from both players' perspective. And um, yeah, the important e3 which leads us to the, the main lines, and I've analysed um, castles and uh, lots of different moves to do with white black playing e5, a5, um, given some interesting ideas against rook e8, which is the sort of current, I guess, most common line. So I think all in all, I've pretty much tried to, to give white a, a good repertoire against all of these lines. Um, I think that the, uh, the Fianchetto variation against the King's Indian and Grunfeld is a very good line because it really frustrates black players. Um, White's just aiming for a small positional advantage and you, you know, you, you're hoping as much as possible to sort of eliminate the chance of losing. Of course, you've always got a chance of losing, but you're just reducing the chance of um, black being able to attack you. And by playing a kind of more solid system, you give uh, yourself more like room for making mistakes if you, you know, before you do lose. And uh, also, it's a kind of uncomfortable for black. A lot of black players play the King's engine because they want to... Um, uh, get it like a big attack and they're not going to get a big attack or much, it's very hard for them to get a big attack in the, the Fianchetto variation because you immediately start off by making your king safe. Um, you know, when you're playing uh, the Grunfeld, a lot of Grunfeld players are very theoretical. They might have, you know, reams of theory. They have all these like uh, force draws worked out in the main lines and things like that. So, um, you know, rather than worrying too much about that in the Grunfeld, we're actually looking at ways for White to just try and get a slight positional edge. But there's not too much theory involved. It's a kind of middle of the road approach where we try and learn just the ideas. Um, obviously, I give some some of the you know theoretical uh, um, best theoretical moves as well, and try to show some ways that White can fight for an advantage. Um, but again, you know, with that certain amount of safety. And, you know, if someone like me can go, you know, such a long period without losing, um, then you need to have some some good uh, options at your disposal, um, which doesn't give your opponents a chance to, to go on the attack. So I'm hoping that if you do get this DVD, you'll really enjoy it and you'll really learn a lot. Uh, I think it'd be good for your chess in general, but certainly it'll provide uh, a good opening repertoire for any D4 player. Anyone who's struggled against the King's Indian before will probably really like this opening because it's a very frustrating opening for King's Indian players to face. And um, anyone who doesn't want to do too much theory, but happy just to learn some ideas and uh, instead of having to learn reams and reams of theory like you do in the mainline King's Indian or in the... Uh, some of the sharp Grunfeld lines, um, you know, the, 
this is more of an ideas-based approach and uh, you'll actually see a lot of the same things that are coming up again and again and if you remember you know how to meet certain moves with other moves and how to you know exactly where you're going to put your pieces um, you will generally get quite a good feel for how to play this type of position and you don't really need to remember word for word every single line because you'd have a good a good chance of working it out I mean I've found in a few of my games I've actually not really known what to do and um, been able to find the best moves anyway because I'm quite familiar with the with the ideas because I've played this this opening since I was uh, you know it was probably the first opening I've played against the Kings Indian or Grunfeld so I guess you just get to know these ideas and then you can can repeat them and you can play safely for an advantage and you just try to like squeeze your opponent try and make life a little bit uncomfortable for them I don't think there's easy equality for black in any of the lines you know black's gonna have to fight hard for for equality and to be honest a lot of black players they, they didn't sort of enter into playing uh, you know these kind of openings just to do that they want to have uh, attacking aggressive games so you're really taking the fun out of it for black and you're just trying to make life as difficult as possible i think by watching this dvd it'll help build up your positional understanding as well as um you know give you a really good uh, repertoire which hopefully you can play and uh, get lots of wins with